<laughs> Shanti, I am your father. <laughs> Welcome to Every Day is Macaroni. I'm Joy Alfred Brand. And I'm Julia Connell. And we're the hosts of Everyday Macaroni, the podcast. This podcast is a look at the lighter side of life, where we talk about our adventures as a modern blended family. So sit back, relax, and prepare to have your funny bone tickled. Once upon a time, in a galaxy far, far away, a couple of dorks got together and recorded the following podcast episode. can't remember what we were talking about in the thing. Well, we talked about... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, listeners. Joy gets very uptight when I touch the mic. <laughs> Stop touching it. It makes noise. Because <laughs> it does make noise, and it's hard to edit. I'm just saying. <laughs> so this is a bonus... Yes, a point is real. Mm -hmm. Because tomorrow is a very important day. Oh, good Lord. And that is hmm. May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Yes. Now, I'm calling this episode May the 4th be with you and also with you because <laughs> we have <laughs> <laughs> this extra special. I felt like I was at church there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We have this extra special recording for all the listeners to enjoy where we talk about Yoda and church. <laughs> you never thought that that combination would be around, right? Mm -hmm. uh, God, so for may the fourth be, be with, with you. you. Uh -huh. And also with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's if you are ascribed to the Catholic version of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. The church uh, stopped doing that and Star Wars picked it up. Because <laughs> they don't do that in the church anymore. What? They don't do what anymore? When they say "May the May the Lord be with you," and then also with you, you don't yeah. say that anymore. Are you sure? No. Uh, there it is. No, they they do still say that. They they cut something out. I thought it was that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I say that because I was listening to uh, that comedian, John Maloney. Yeah. Mulaney. 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 Yeah. John Mulaney, and I could, I thought he said that, like... You're going to take your yeah. religious instruction <laughs> from that chucklehead? Yeah, he's, he's a funny guy. That and doesn't he, mean he's right about no, stuff. No, he seems like a smart guy, too. Oh, my God. But uh, he said he went to church, and, you know, he's like, I haven't been there in a long time, and then they went ahead and said, you know, he goes, what do you say when they say, uh, you know, may the Lord be with you? And then everyone says, and also with you. And he goes, right, that's what I thought, right? But apparently... They decided to change that. <laughs> yeah. After all, so they many years. They something. Now I forget what it is. Yeah, they go, if, so it. after so many years, that's what they decided to change. You know? Mm -hmm. And I think it was that. I could be totally wrong. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. But we don't go to church. Now Star Wars, they say that. Yeah. May the fourth be, be with, with you. you. And then, you know, you go like this. <laughs> I have to with you. Yeah. <laughs> or, may the fourth be with you. Mm, yes, and you as well. No, that's okay. Uh, you got the voice right. Yeah, which one is that? Right, but you didn't get the syntax right. That's Yoda. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's trying to right, be Yoda. Right, right, right. With you also, or something no, like that. No, he would have said, oh, God. Someone had explained it to me. Of course, it had to be... Irritated I am. He gets the sentence backwards. And with you as well, he would have said, right? And with you as well. Because he always puts the pronoun before the... the isn't it the prepositional phrase? Isn't that how he yeah. does it? He flips it around? Yeah. I don't think it was he an English major, the, but... <laughs> he flips the sentence structure around. Yeah. He, he, <clears throat> so the verb... No, the... I thought it, the pronoun, right? Whatever it is. Comes second. Comes first. No. Uh, scared he was. Annoyed she was. That kind of thing. Oh, maybe, the pronoun maybe comes that's second. What it is. Maybe maybe it's the verb first. Worried I, I that. am. That kind of thing. When he's talking about yeah. you know, young he is. That kind of thing. 
So then he would have, he just would have said, and also with you. Whatever. You also. <laughs> Ridiculous this is. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. That would have been it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So all the salon style discussions we have about our intellectual things, very important. <laughs> <laughs> How does Yoda behave in church? <laughs> the responsorial from Yoda. <laughs> <clears throat> That's important stuff right there. I know he does have a famous saying, though. Do or do not, there is no try. It's like a weird in church. Nice and quiet. Except a little less churchy. churchy. <laughs> <laughs> a little when less was appropriate. When the last time that we went to church? <laughs> My God. Oh, I By uh, oh. Caitlin's communion. <laughs> we was hoping that somebody got married, but nothing happened. What? What? Who Who's going to get married? married? To church. Who's going to get married? Who's going to be married? getting married? Well, well, we can name two right off the top of my head. I think. Yeah. Who, Caitlin or Aaron? No. Oh, who? Dad and I. Wait, for what? What? You're already married. Oh, yeah. See? I got it. <laughs> Confused I am. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Karen... <laughs> You remember that, right? Because we were all talking about it. Yoda and how he speaks and what oh, his yeah, syntax yeah, yeah. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I did do a quick little fact check about Yoda and the syntax. Uh, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I found out about Yoda and how he speaks the way he does and why. Because he wasn't taught properly in school, <laughs> in, in, in Yoda school. Well, he went to Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> and Did the nuns, he now? <laughs> <laughs> Yoda went to Catholic school, and the nuns didn't like it when he tried to talk like people from his home planet, wherever it is. I don't know what planet is Yoda from. Do you know? I, I barely watch Star Wars. I don't even know what a Yoda is. Yeah, other you than know I know what Yoda what he, is. Yeah, I know what he looks like. I didn't know he had. I didn't know he had other Yodas. <laughs> like I didn't. <laughs> Obviously, until the Mandalorian, I didn't even know it was possible okay, now, to have a baby Yoda. I didn't even know what the hell that is. Well, certainly Yoda didn't come out fully formed like Yoda. Well, no, and he's all wrinkly now. <laughs> and, and now that I see baby Yoda and Yoda, no, no. I can see Well, it. it's very ridiculous to me that we're talking about it like Yoda's a real dude. Because Yoda is not a real dude. Right. What was his home planet in Star Wars? Do you remember? Really? I don't even know what the <laughs> okay. home planet now was I gotta, for Luke Skywalker. I, I, no I got to do a quick draw Google. Let's see what y Google has to say. Yoda's... Home planet. Okay. Dagobah. He's from Dagobah. Oh, of course he We is. should know that. <laughs> no, no. Wait a minute. Home to Yoda during his final years was Dagobah. StarWarsFandom.com says Yoda, on all his paperwork, he lists his home world as Dagobah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check on Wikipedia. <laughs> 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 okay. What does Wikipedia say? Size matters not. Look at me. Judge me by my size. <laughs> size matters not. <laughs> <laughs> that was written by a guy. <laughs> of course. Born in 896 BBY, Yoda was almost 900 years old in the latter days of the Republic. A leading member of the Jedi High Council, his contemporaries include other legendary masters such as Mace Windu. Uh, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, blah. Hey! When did you switch over to a new language? <laughs> I, I don't understand the thing you're saying. Okay. It doesn't say for sure where he comes from. I don't know. But anyway, I did check out his syntax because that was the reason we were discussing it at Monday Night Family Dinner. Yeah. Listener, you know I have to fact check Yoda's speech pattern because dorky I am. Hmm. <laughs> to answer this question, we turn to Paul Duncan's Star Wars archives where he writes that, according to George Lucas, he didn't want the audience to have to keep reading subtitles, so he wanted Yoda to speak English, but he wanted it structured in a way that makes you focus on Yoda's philosophy and still sound alien while being understood by anyone watching the films. 
He switched it around so that his sentences follow an object-subject-verb pattern, which is actually backwards from how we would normally speak. Well, to me, it sounds like English is not Yoda's first language, but who knows what lingity he's sprickin' on his home planet, you know? Hmm, <laughs> done with that we are. <laughs> I don't have any Yoda paraphernalia, strangely enough. Uh, he would probably be the only one that I like. Yoda and maybe those little um You know, what you're are the making furry, people what are around the, furry the world ones? angry by saying this is like saying you don't like Dobby, you know? <laughs> the little is furry it? ones are Ewoks. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, the Ewoks. Yes. Th- that would be it. I think those those guys Yeah, those were my favorites <laughs> right there. hmm I don't have any Yoda paraphernalia. I only have Wookiee stuff and just so everyone knows my Patronus is a Wookiee. <laughs> I'm just saying. A Wookiee. Okay, yeah, I like him too. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of the... Ga- <laughs> no. Gardens of the Galaxy? He reminds you mean me... mean Guardians of the Galaxy, not Gardens of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> this old house on Endor. <laughs> you see where my mind is, right? I'm on Home and Garden. <laughs> Gardens of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. He reminds you of Groot, doesn't he? He does. Oh, my he God. Groot's a Groot. tree. You can't understand either one of them. They're always pointing everywhere. And the only one who understands them is the, the pilot. The like little they're, raccoon. They're a little raccoon. Uh, rocket, right? Yes, rocket mm-hmm. raccoon. Okay. Now, I don't know any of the comic book stuff. Except for, like, I have a passing familiarity. I just don't. Yeah. So, I got nothing there. Chewbacca doesn't actually speak. He only... Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was my oh, attempt. Oh, that gives me a cramp. Because <laughs> uh, he, he talks at one point. I mean, he goes, whatever that is, right? But then he... I guess he only speaks Wookiee. Doesn't he do one of those too? <laughs> kind of like the dog. I <laughs> love you. I'm hungry. <laughs> I am Groot. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of the same thing. I am Groot is kind of the same thing as Chewbacca only saying what? What's he saying? Whatever. <laughs> In his Chewbacca language, <laughs> Wookiee language. I, I don't see. know. I guess we'd have to ask Wikipedia what kind of, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind of words he says because I don't think he's I don't actually any. think he's actually saying words. I think mm. it's just he's. Maybe he's like like whales or dar- <laughs> dolphins, you know, the, like certain sounds put together. I don't think Chewbacca likes the water too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would weigh him down. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible, a wet Chewbacca. <laughs> Probably smell really musty too. <laughs> That's bad, like a wet dog. (laughs) That's not good at all. Oh, man. No. And the other thing Chewbacca reminds me of is that critter on um, the one that says rada, 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 rada on Chowder, that that, uh, cartoon. Nope. He only says that word, rada, 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 you know. Not a clue what that (laughs) is. Chowder the cartoon? No, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Once you have kids and you're forced to sit there and watch cartoons, <laughs> that's the last thing I want to watch is another cartoon. Oh, you have lost your mind. You don't remember Saturday mornings watching cartoons? That was the best thing ever. Yeah, but I wasn't watching something called Chowder. Mm, oh, Chowder got canceled. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> I kind of remember. Maybe Caitlin knew about him. Rod, right, Rod, Rod, Rod. No. Uh, Schnitzel. Schnitzel's the one that says, Rod, 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 Rod. Mm. See, he only says that word, kind yeah. of like I am Groot. Not either. I'm not. I don't know. Oh, you don't know Schnitzel? No, I uh, don't know Schnitzel. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> You're right. I don't know Schnitzel. Yeah, well, I like Schnitzel. He's pretty funny. Rada 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 rada, and that's all he says. And that's the same thing with I am Groot. And, well, and you know, you're right. That does sound kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. You're right. It's like I but am that's Groot. That's totally up your alley. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not. You're just jealous. Nah, maybe so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it was between Star Wars and maybe a, uh, what's the other one? Star Trek. Oh, my God. Um, you're killing me. M- maybe I would be more on the side of Star Trek. 
maybe. You're killing it's me. It's cleaner. They're in a what vehicle. What do you mean it's cleaner? They're always in a vehicle. You know, they're not getting dirty out there. What do you call the Millennium Falcon? That's a vehicle. Yeah, I know, but they get out. And they're, you know, crawling they get around out on the Star dirt, Trek. And they get... Oh, my God. Have you never seen a Star Trek episode where they beam totally. down to the planet? Yes, I know. And, so, and, and and Captain Kirk had quite the adventures, you know, but it was always clean. He never looked wrinkly. <laughs> so he, I don't know that they did anything under there. And, <laughs> and we all know what Captain Kirk did with every single one of those aliens, <laughs> you know. He's just being very welcoming. <laughs> well, I guess he is an ambassador of the Federation, right? Well, there you go. <laughs> and, you know, being an ambassador, you know, and, and, and mediator and all that kind of stuff is, you know, right up my alley. I <laughs> always wanted to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> so maybe Star Trek is my thing. I don't mm. No, No, I can't even say that's my thing. That would be a big lie. <laughs> no. But it's more my thing than Star Wars. <laughs> mm. Well, there you have it, listeners. Mm-hmm. Strike Sorry. one. <laughs> hey, I'm sure Star Trek has a force. There's some sort of force. What? Right? Oh, no. You're picking there's a the fight. There's the gravitational force. There's You're the, picking a fight. There's the G4. Wait, there, what, what's that force? <laughs> <laughs> what's it called when they're <laughs> flying around and then all of a sudden they want to light, light, you know, light beam? No. Light no. stream? No. <laughs> <laughs> you mean warp factor nine there or whatever? There we go. Warp. Warp. Warp speed. Warp speed. That's got to give you some significant G's. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> that that's that's the extent right there. <laughs> that, that's as far as my mind can go <laughs> with the Star Trek. I'm not a big, uh, you know, sci-fi, mm -hmm. you know. The Twilight Zone, that was a big sci-fi thing for me. Mm. And I didn't watch that until I was an adult. So mm. I could, couldn't really appreciate it. And, and to be quite honest with you, I, I can't <laughs> still appreciate some of those episodes. <laughs> but, you know, I, I can I can tolerate mm. a good portion. Well. You know, and, and, and Jean-Luc Picard, I mean, you know. He's a, he's a dude, boy. He's he was, What does he was, that mean? I, I mean, you know, with that accent, I'd believe him anywhere. I'd follow him anywhere, believe him. Be like, okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's on the, what's he on, DoorDash now? No. <laughs> he's on Grubhub. I don't know. Commercial. I think he's on a commercial now where he's ordering something. I can't remember who I don't know, but I would listen is. to him read the paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't he on cartoons too? Like he's on The Simpsons or something? Uh, I no. think he was on American Dad. Or he played one of the guys from the CIA on a, on American Dad, if I'm not no. mistaken. He's know. got a pretty good sense of humor, Patrick mm. Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's right. Let me quick draw. And Google. I think he was on the other one too, where there were aliens. Like it was a cartoon, and they had aliens. Some girl, you know, um, married with children. Who was the mom on that? I can't Katie Seagal. Yes. That's right. So mm -hmm. it was a cartoon that she was on. I guess she starred yeah. in it. And then every once in a while, I think. Yeah, I know John what you're talking Picard about. was on it, too. I but know what you're I, talking about. I could about. be wrong because honestly, again, no, I think you're I'm not watching cartoons, especially <laughs> adult cartoons. Uh, I think you're right. Kind of um, creepy. <laughs> but yeah. So live long and prosper. <laughs> no, what am I supposed to be saying? <laughs> May, May the 4th fourth fourth be, with be with you. you. And also with you. Oh. <laughs> Every time I hear that, I'm like, oh, am I in church? No. No, that's <laughs> Star Wars church. <laughs> like, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, mm -hmm. Star Wars and, and they church have go changed, hand in hand. They have changed those things anyway. I, I don't know that we say that anymore. But, okay. Well, there you go, listener. There's your fun little bonus episode. <laughs> All about our shared love of all things sci-fi, Star Wars, Star Trek, yada, yada, yada. And I'd like to give a shout out to Wikipedia for just existing. That just brings me total, complete, and utter delight. <laughs> Darth Tater will be back in the next installment of May the Force Be With You and also with you. <laughs> Young Podcast, no sponsors it has. 
download, listen, share, and give good review, you can. I hope you enjoyed listening and sharing a laugh or two with us. Stay tuned for more Everyday Macaroni Adventures on future podcast episodes. And if you want to see some pictures of us, you can follow us on Instagram by searching at Everyday Macaroni or hashtag Everyday Macaroni. In fact, you should be able to find us on YouTube soon. Just search Everyday Macaroni on YouTube and our new channel should pop up. If you want to shop for some fun macaroni merch, head over to EverydayMacaroni.com. Don't forget, if you have a blended family story to share, email us at info at EverydayMacaroni.com and put the word share in the subject line. Your story might end up on a future episode, and how fun would that be? Finally, don't forget to give us a good review and download your favorite episodes. A share wouldn't hurt either. The more interaction we get for the podcast, the more episodes we can post. Again, thanks for listening, and join us for the next episode of...